Katie, the Membership Development Manager with the Greater Fairbanks Chamber. I am pleased to be here today with some of our newest members. This is Crystal and Delany, co-owners of Evergreen Eatery, and we're here to ask them some questions and learn more about their new business. Thank you guys so much for sitting down with me today. We're super Lovely. excited you. about Lovely. your guys' new endeavor. So how did the two of you meet and decide to go into business together? Um, well, I have another business here in town, and Crystal had showed up, and she brought me a lovely gift bag welcoming me into the women-owned businesses in Fairbanks and asked if I ever wanted to partner up and I immediately took her up on that offer <laughs> and I didn't ever stop. <laughs> Very cool. And we just quickly became friends and through just conversations on a Saturday uh, found out that you know she had this dream to you know build a restaurant and and kind of dive into food in a different capacity. And I knew what I was doing behind the scenes. And so it just slowly merged and became what it is today. <laughs> Made it happen. <laughs> so yeah. Well, I love that. We all know how small Fairbanks is and how we all intertwine and meet and mm -hmm. come together. So yeah. I'm so glad that you guys have been able to come together in this beautiful way. Same. So then, <laughs> so, so you shared a little bit that guys like you had experience and you had this dream of always opening a restaurant so what inspired the opening of like this particular restaurant the way you guys work? So a lot of it stemmed from the fact that uh, for my other companies I was looking to expand my kitchen space mm -hmm. and so um, as I started looking for things there really wasn't anything in town so I decided well is this it where I just dive in and start building the kitchen of my dreams <laughs> And, um, you know, I found the guys over here at Lot 65, they had this space, and I said, I have an idea, and, um, you know, they trusted me enough to say, okay, let's go for it, and while we're at it, do you think you can make a restaurant and food for the brewery? And I said, well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, that's kind of um, the, the precursor to when we started chatting about it, and and then everything kind of came together, mm -hmm. and so we've got a huge production kitchen and providing food for for the brewery. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then, can you describe your menu? Mm, something for for everyone. There's something sweet, savory, and spicy within each category. It feeds adults and children. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that I don't think there's anything on the menu that won't appeal to someone. Like it's all around. Agreed. Yeah. All around, it's a well -rounded all the bases. It's small plates, mm -hmm. big plates, hearty, light. And then how would we like classify the food, do you think? Um, my favorite way to describe it is elevated pub food. There so, we go. Yeah, yes. I mean, it's just, it's gourmet, but at a bar. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Easily eaten with your hand or one fork. There's nothing that you need to really dive into too extreme with a full yeah, with fork. fork. And, I mean, you could. <laughs> you could if you really wanted to. <laughs> like I always tell my kids, don't yuck someone's yum. If they want to eat with two forks, you love Yeah, yeah. I want two forks. <laughs> okay, so what are the hours of your restaurant? Because obviously you guys work within the brewery's hours, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, when so, come and uh, so right now food? we are modeling our hours similar to the brewery. Um, we are looking at expanding them and opening them up. Uh, so right now we are 4 to 8 mm -hmm. with a brunch on Sunday from 12 to 4. Mm -hmm. um, but here really, really soon we are going to be modeling uh, 2 to 8 on the days that the brewery opens at 2. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Friday and Saturday 12 to 8 as well. Okay. Um, and keeping our Sunday brunch. Wonderful. And closed on Tuesdays so you closed guys get Closed on Tuesdays a break. Um, and Wonderful. making some of those changes as we go. But um, we'll announce that here soon. Wonderful. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for updated hours. Correct. currently 12 to 4. Yes. Except for brunch. No, sorry, 4 to 8, 12 to 4 brunch, mm -hmm. 4 to 8. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So make sure you get out here, guys. Can confirm the food is good. <laughs> How did you guys pick the name Evergreen Eatery? Oh, goodness. That was, a, that was a lunch date in which we were bouncing ideas off of one another. We knew we wanted something Alaskan, but classic, and, and 
and beautiful and you know. something that invited like the idea of fresh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I think I mean I can't even remember some of the goofy things we oh were coming goodness. up with but I, I think, think I have it in a journal someplace yeah. <laughs> but it just like all of a sudden I think we both were just like evergreen evergreen Ever wait, evergreen. Evergreen. And evergreen like, eatery. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's timeless, it's fresh, um yeah, it just makes you think of just change but in a very like inviting way. Yes. And that's kind of what cozy, we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Enduring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Consistent like our yes. long lasting. Evergreen. Yeah. Exactly. Love it. Oh, I love it. Well, I hope that there's a blooper reel sometime, maybe, with the other ideas that we're throwing. Out. Like, <laughs> oh, what, we, what could have been? But yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. So, okay, so we've already established you guys are within the Lat 65 building. Mm -hmm. um, so, there is no dining area of your own. Mm -hmm. How do people access the food? How, how, how does this whole process work? Right, so basically you do need to hop over to the bar side, the brewery mm -hmm. side, and we have QR codes on all the tables and we have a uh, really large like mobile ordering station as well. Mm -hmm. So you just scan any of the QR codes and you know our menu pops up and place your order and we bring it out to either the mobile station pickup or your table, depending on where you order from. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. then your little key thing vibrates when your food's yep. ready so you yeah. know when to go to your cup. Yeah. Exactly, so if you order from our mobile station, then yes, you, you pick up that pager and that's what the QR code is on and that's what you're scanning to order. So you Perfect. keep that until um, it buzzes yeah. and then your food is ready. But if you do order from a table, we bring it straight to that table. Oh, very cool. Yes. All right, and you guys have a system where you know where mm -hmm. the tables are. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And then does Evergreen Eatery offer catering? We will, not quite at the moment. So there's a couple things in the works for that um, where we may eventually have our own catering room mm -hmm. uh, and event space. Mm -hmm. uh, but until then, right now, we wanna make sure that we are serving the brewery customers first and foremost and getting our processes down for that without throwing too much into the the ring for what we're doing, but um, we would like to slowly get out there and cater lunches and things like that for the community. Um, but that will be here in the next couple of months before yes. we start offering those sort of things. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, good to know. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Stay yes. tuned. And for right now, enjoy mm -hmm. food here. Yes. Yes. All right. And then do you guys offer vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian options? We have some gluten-free options and we have some vegetarian options. We do not have any vegan options right now. Yeah. There's always room for us to expand our menu and we're hoping that we can appeal to everyone's wants and needs within time. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have some really great options mm -hmm. for those that are needing some extra gluten intolerant and um, or not, that's not the vegetarian, word, vegetarian yeah. options, mm -hmm. yes. Wonderful. <laughs> and then, well, I guess, can people order online or DoorDash at this time? Not or is it just in the Just brewery? in house okay. uh, right now. Um, you don't have to like come in and sit down and drink a beer or anything to order. Mm -hmm. um, you can walk right up to our mobile station, but you do have to come in. Mm -hmm. um, again, we want to make sure that our processes are correct and that we are as efficient as possible yes. for, for the patrons of the brewery before we open up to complete madness <laughs> of DoorDash and all of that. Um, we will eventually have that and we'll have a completely separate process and entrance for those okay. orders that we will, you know, educate everybody on. But until then, right now, pop into the brewery, uh, yeah. grab a beer, grab a root beer. They've got all kinds of stuff um, and, and place an order at the mobile station. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you guys have made it so easy. Like everything is very apparent when you come in how to do it. It's so easy. I came in with my kid the other day and I was like, oh, this is so simple. Oh, good to know. And <laughs> it was hot and fresh and ready. And uh, like we were talking about before we went on film, people were taking pictures of my food. That's how beautiful it was. <laughs> so <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't, I was eating it, but other people <laughs> took pictures. Uh, so what can people expect from Evergreen Eatery in the summertime? Is there anything that's going to change? Like will we expand onto the deck area? Um, well, we'll expand our hours. Okay. Um, the nice thing that you can have um, knowing with us is that we 
have the ability to change our menu whenever we would like. And that's what we've been doing um, with Sunday brunch. Mm -hmm. We are rotating our menu. We are coming up with new ideas. And there will be something different and special every week that we bring it to the people. And with um, the ever-changing seasons, you know, whatever is in season, we'd like to incorporate that into the menu and bring something yeah. good for everybody. Trending, um, new seasonal flavors, all of that. So we know there will be change for the summer, but we just don't know quite yet what, what that looks like. But knowing that you mm -hmm. guys are, you know, kind of, it's very brand for you, right? To yes. be in season yes. and what's fresh and what is exactly. seasonably appropriate and yep. also yep. What's, what tastes good. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, flavor. flavor. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so now we're going to do a couple rapid fires for funsies. Mm -hmm. So you guys can each answer. Sweet or salty? Salty. Sweet. <laughs> this is why we come together. <laughs> Call it balance? Fruits or veggies? Veggies. <laughs> Meat or potatoes? Potatoes. Potatoes. Okay. Because <laughs> we have to agree on some things. And then each of you, what is your favorite menu item right now? Mm, beer, cheese, and nachos. Mm -hmm. uh, that was mine. <laughs> yeah, I, love our, I love our beer cheese, but I love our uh, brush fire flatbread. Mm. I love mm. spicy. Yes. And it's got... Just the right. Tell, tell us what's on that one. So that one has our uh, mascarpone cheese with a gorgonzola, pears, and a habanero fig. Um, oh, and and like a spicy salami. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Very. So it's it's still amazing. balanced, it's like it's sweet, spicy. But that habanero uh, fig sauce is mm, so good. Oh, that's <laughs> so amazing. Good. Okay, well now I know what I'm trying next. <laughs> So if you could leave our listeners with one final thought today, what would it be? Mm. One final thought. I think for me, it's uh, like we're just so excited to be able to provide mm -hmm. this community with so much flavor and so much flavor that we're not set in stone on anything. And if something doesn't work, we fine, we move on. If something works, all right, we're keeping it because we have that ability to be so versatile in what we're doing um, to continue to provide flavor to the community um, and just get food. Yeah, and we're open to suggestions. We want all the feedback, good or bad or whatever. We want to continuously please the people of Fairbanks and we, we want everybody to enjoy their experience here. So bring it. Let's yeah. go. We, we want to be an experience. Can't wait to be <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you guys have definitely kicked off all of that on the right foot. And thank you guys again for your support of the Chamber, for all that you do in this community, and for what you're bringing to the community. We're so excited to have you guys here. And like we said, come on down, check them out in the Lat 65 building, Evergreen Eatery. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, Katie.